We are going to church. This church. Good morning, beautiful viewer. I'm Weilun and welcome to the Gome Plate. Today we are going to visit this very historical monument called the Sacred Hill. It's a church and it's located on top of the hill Montmartre. And because we have decided to walk all the way from our hotel, we have now gone into this area which I think is pretty local. You can see that there are these very local uh, grocery stores and shops, you know, and people are just minding their own business getting to work. And after we visit this historical monument, we are going to head over to have some uh, brunch at this restaurant called Sacred Fleur, which means Sacred Flower. They are a traditional French cuisine restaurant that specializes in beef dishes. So we are probably going to order some starters and of course get their recommendation on their signature beef dish. So without further ado, let's keep walking and head to the monument. Guys, this is just ridiculously crazy when you can see these beautiful drawings on the walls. It's ridiculous. Just look at this. Look at this. It looks like it's like sort of deep thought and look at the, the use of the colors and the shades and everything. I'm not an artist, but this looks really, really good. And there are others as well, especially with the whole wall of these different children uh, smiling, making funny faces. It's so interesting. <laughs> okay, it seems that we have walked into the tourist area. You can see on both sides of the streets. There are just shops and shops selling souvenirs. And I heard this place is very notoriously known for I think pickpockets and also uh, you know the typical Paris scam that you hear of when you search on YouTube. So it's time for us to be extra cautious and careful. Which is luck because the church is right in front. Goodness is magnificent. Yep, that's the church in all its glory. Let's begin our ascent. Oh, we are in a race now, we are in a race now! Ugh. Stop! Hey guys, we're halfway there and we just went past this like on the way up, there are actually these guys that try to tie that string on your hand. So yeah, it's proven it's definitely there. That's one of the scams. So just ignore them and walk past and you'll be fine. I hope we are fine. Let's carry on moving and if you can see right behind me, you can already see like the very nice landscape out there into Paris. And Quad is looking like Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, let's go! I'm enjoying this landscape, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, we're almost at the top and I noticed one thing. It seems that they have a strategy over here for the scams. <laughs> so in the first stage is where they try to tie the string and now we're at the second stage where there are these girls who carry these like Board papers or boards for you to sign on and actually they passed us while we were walking on the streets earlier and I noticed they just kept their cup balls at the side of the garbage <laughs> bin. They just picked it up and then they, they went up, uh, they came up here to start uh, I guess working. Yeah, just like Lapka Chan Khoi Kung. Yeah, so be careful lah guys, just just be careful. Yep. Let's really head up now and I'll tell you very little that I know about the sacred cure. Mm. Hey guys, here we are at the sacred cure and it is a Roman Catholic church and also a basilica dedicated to the sacred heart of Jesus. I believe the sacred heart of Jesus is a very popular devotion. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not Christian. And you see two statues uh, atop the church. One I believe is King St. Louis the Ninth, and the other is Joan of Arc. So we just visited the church and it looks really really magnificent. It's a beautifully built architecture and you will notice that the entire church is white. This is because it's built with I believe the Chateau Larden stone which actually cleanses itself when it meets rainwater which is why it maintains this white exterior and that is something really interesting. We visited the inside of the church and everything is very nice and it gives you this very surreal feeling. Anyway, I think that's it. A really quick tour of the sacred cure. And now we are really hungry. I think we are ready for lunch. Hey guys, we are away from the tourist trap spot. <laughs> it's, it's like you're playing a game, right? When you go up, you need to evade the scammers. When you come down, you have to evade them again. So just make sure that you're really careful. Uh, take care of your belongings and just ignore them. Like completely ignore them. Don't even talk to them. Don't even make eye contact. Just walk past them.
<laughs> right guys, we are seated at the Sacred Flower. I really like the deco in a way because it's got this really old school, very traditional classic stick house feel to it. It's a really small one shop lot restaurant and we've got with us the menu. I like the design of the cow with that flower there. I'm guessing that's the secret flower. And the interesting thing about this menu is that as you turn the pages, you notice for food, they only have four pages. So this could end two ways. It is going to be ridiculously delicious or it's going to be... So let's find out. Alright, service was really quick. They started with some bread and butter, but before we got to touch that, the starters are here. We got the snails cooked in a cream sauce. I think it's called Escago a la Normande. And we've got a frog leg as well. So I think let's quickly start with snails. It comes in this stock coquette and it's really cute. Mmm. It looks very interesting. I can't really see the snails. They are, I think they're floating up top. And there's the cream surrounding it. Anyway, the frog is ready. Let us try this out. Mmm, mm. creamy, sweet. Oh, the snails are so tender. Mmm, and the creaminess is starting to set in. Buttery, thick consistency. The sweetness, it doesn't hit you immediately, it comes after. But as you suck on that cream, the sweetness comes up very slowly. It's a very mild tasting dish. At first, you might feel that it lacks flavor, but after a while, you really taste that mouth flavor starting to come in and it's actually pretty addictive. That was a good idea. Let us try some of that baguette with that cream here. Look at this a little bit tough, but there's a nice flower fragrance. The sauce though, sauce is good. It's really starting to hit me now. Mildly savory, salty with the hint of beautiful sweetness. It's not a sugary sweetness. Mm. Mm. Alright, next up, the frog legs. I love how they arrange the frog legs like in a, in a circle. And I believe these are made in potatoes together with some form of vegetable on top. I'm not quite sure why it is. They are fried as well, maybe parsley. And they sprinkle it with probably some chili pepper. Anyway, let us quickly pick up one of these frog legs. They taste like chicken wings, way tender chicken wings. And they're deep fried, lightly, very lightly breaded. They really taste like fried chicken wings, like tiny mini fried chicken wings that are super tender, lightly salted too. The vegetable on top, I'm not too sure if it's parsley, but it has been fried. So it carries that fragrance across, and there's some of that heat from, I'm guessing, paprika. This is unexpectedly good. This is very good. This frog leg. Wow. Mm, the smashed potato, very decent, buttery. A good balance between smoothness and a little bit of coarseness. This is a personal preference thing. Uh, generally, I like it like this with a little bit of texture. Not the jaw robuchon, super smooth type. Actually, I like that too. And again, the leaves. If you know what it is, guys, let me know what it is. It just gives that much needed um, that oil fragrance along with that salty flavor. It's almost like a nori, almost like a seaweed. But I don't think it is. Mm. Mm. And it mixed in some salt on the mashed potato too. So it gives you that slight salty crunchiness when you bite into the grains of salt. I think it's sort of just nice, not too salty. It is a really messy affair, but I love this so much. It's turning out to be a really, really good dish. The escalos are good as well, but this is way better. My goodness, that fragrance of that steak is unbelievable. Oh, 
the whole room is just filled with that smell of that butter fattiness of that tea bone. <laughs> and it's cooked medium rare, you can see the pinkish hue on the meat there. They are also served with a side of fried potatoes and there are three sauces to dip your beef in, along with some salt. Yeah, I can't wait, I'm just gonna dive right in for a slice of beef there. Press out the salt. Sprinkle onto the beef there. I'm gonna cut a nice piece over here for myself. Oh, that juice is just oozing out. Beef is cooked perfectly. You can still see the red juices oozing out. And it is moderately tender. The inside is definitely tender. The outside is a little bit tougher, but that is fine because it provides a good contrast between some bite along with that nice soft melty fattiness. Mm. And the salt just draws out all that natural flavor of the beef. Mm. The charred beef right at the edge there. It sort of reminds me of like, like roast pork. But it's still your coming on top. I'm gonna try one of the sauce on the beef. We shall try them as we go. I'm guessing this is onion jam. I'm gonna put some on the beef. Off we go. Mm. Onion jam. Sweet. And it helps bring an extra layer of flavor to the beef. The onions are tender and you can still taste the essence of the onion in there. A little bit tangy too. I like that. Mm, I like the onion jam. What about the other sauce? Okay, this one looks kind of cheesy. I mean, I guess it's some form of cheese sauce. Mm. It's definitely a kind of cheese. Savory, cheesy, mildly pungent. It goes for the beef too. But personally, I like the onion more. Oh, I think it's. I think the, the chef chef mentioned that it's a shallot sauce, no onion jam. Because that gives a nice tanginess and a sweetness to it. But the cheese is really good too. I've got with me here a pot of fries. So let's try this out. Wow! Wow! Mm. Is it weird if I say I love the fries? It's got a really good texture between crispy on the edges and really soft inside and very potatoey. You can taste all the potatoes' natural flavor. It's like the really good McDonald's fries that you remember from long ago when you were a kid. Super sized. Mm. Oh, this is good. See the crunch? Mm. It's giant fried potatoes. Mm. Mm. Another slice of beef here. Mm. I'm gonna slice it up into smaller pieces. Oh, look at how easily it cuts. Nice tender beef. Try the final sauce that we have. Let's go! Black pepper. But way more refined than the usual black pepper sauce that you get back in Malaysia. It doesn't attack you. It allows the beef to retain its main flavor. Just imagine a very coarse black pepper sauce but done in a way more refined manner with milder attacks. Okay, I still like the traditional way better. Sprinkle the salt on. Okay. Off we go. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had a stick in such a long time. This is a really enjoyable one. That's for sure.
I don't know why we are here in MACD. <laughs> yes, but we are. <laughs> so, you enjoy Sacred Power? Yeah, I did. Shall we go course by course? Let's start with the starters. The escargot. Mm, I like the escargot. The escargot is tender. And overall, the cream is not too heavy. When you first taste it, it feels almost as if it has not enough flavours. Mm. But as you eat by after bite, yep. The flavours really hit you. I find it to be very harmonious and mild but flavourful. Yeah, yeah, and good to pair with the correct. baguette. Yeah, the baguette. Yes, yeah. correct. Definitely. The baguette is okay. Um, but yeah, when paired with the escargot, it does taste very delicious. Yep. For the frog legs, I really loved it. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, I feel it's sort of like e eating frog legs. But this one is really delicious. Mm. I mean like, like seriously delicious. It's so flavourful. Exactly like very juicy, tender, succulent, mini chicken wings. It's a very, very fragrant. Yeah, 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 it's really fragrant. As for the beef, let me put it this way for 64 euros. Also, it's pretty value for money. Mm. Here it comes with a side of fried potatoes. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, let's talk about the potatoes first. Crazy good. Like, they're the best chips that I've ever had. Yeah. Period. Mm. Best chips ever. Mm. Yeah, you don't need to go with any ketchup or anything, just eat the chips. It's so potato-y. Mm. Really, really good. Now back to the beef. The beef is a T-bone. It is cooked very well. I would say it's executed perfectly. It's medium rare. As you can see from the juices oozing out, the middle part is tender and succulent and very beefy in a good way. Mm. It's got a nice beef flavour. But the outside, because it's a quite a thick piece of steak, the outside could be a little bit more chewy than uh, we would have liked. Mm. But the grilled flavour on the surface makes up for it though. And the dips that go along with the beef, they mm. do provide different flavour layers on top of the beef without overpowering the flavour of the beef itself. Mm. So I really like that. I will put it this way, uh, Secret Flower is a very traditional French home cooking uh, cuisine restaurant. And their beef are more like traditional cuts of beef. You know, it's definitely not Miyazaki or Kobe. Basically you don't get that not really that melty, buttery. buttery, crazy tender beef. You're not going to get that. So if you keep that in mind, this is a very good piece of beef for what it is mm. as a T-bone. Very, very good. And I enjoyed it very much. So yeah, I think it's a no-brainer. Um, this place is great. And with that being said, Sacred Flower scores a one plate on the gourmet plate, which means it is some high quality cooking with some glimpses of genius, especially that potato and the frog legs. All right, guys, that's it for us uh, for the food vlog for the week. Hope you have enjoyed this particular episode. If you did, do consider giving us a thumbs up. If you yet to subscribe, do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell button. See <laughs> you again next week. Bye bye.